There we go. Okay. Perfect. And then I think it says I'm in practice mode and it is recording. It says you cannot, for me, it's. Uh, Hi, Francis. Good. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm trying, trying Thank to you. get on video. Yeah. Can you make Francis host for one second? I guess that she yes. can put her video. And then maybe yeah, you Francis, can go back to you us. You are host right now. Yes. Oh, go oh, ahead. Don't the host no, no no it's to it's to make sure your camera can work so then click on your video yep perfect then yeah. then <laughs> click on participants francis if you can click on that and then andrea or natalia are you who's the host i'm gonna natalia, natalia. yeah okay so francis have... can you click on participants on your ipad Top uh, right. I'm on my laptop, so click again on participants. Yep, and then on Natalia's name, you should click on her name. You should be able to see make host. Can you? Click on Natalia's picture on her name. Yep. Okay, Natalia, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> and then can you uh, make host? That doesn't come up. Hmm. How about right click on her name? uh okay hold on let me see uh mute stop video chat pins oh sorry disappeared uh spotlight for every oh yeah make host okay there we, we go. go do you want to change the host yes i do there you go <laughs> thank you so thank you very much janet lee and, Fra and francis uh for your time we do have 40 people enrolled for the event wow. today. That's great. So, yeah. We already have 17 people online. So. All right. So, Hi, yeah, everyone. We, <laughs> I think they can see you yet. Uh, oh, I guess they can. I, I guess so, Natalia. Okay. They are already writing here in the chat. Yeah. Hello. They can see us already. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody, right? It is afternoon in Brazil. It is 5 p.m. here in Sao Paulo, at least. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a briefly introduction in Portuguese, just to explain to everybody uh, where we're gonna talk about it, and then we're gonna start. All right. I'm just gonna wait maybe one more minute. So we always do on the <laughs> well. Everybody's gonna join us. Boa tarde a todos, muito obrigado pela presença. Para quem não me conhece, meu nome é Natália Warga, eu trabalho na 3W, uma empresa que representa mais de 50 high school particulares no Brasil. Eu trabalho da matriz da empresa na cidade de Los Angeles e a minha colega Andréa Cipione, representante da 3W, trabalha de São Paulo. Nós estamos aqui hoje para apresentar a Martyr Day Catholic High School, que fica na cidade de Santa Ana, uma hora ao sul de Los Angeles, 15 minutos do Newport Beach, em Orange County. Nós temos, uh, nós vamos contar com a presença da Frances Clare, a diretora da Mother Day. Nós também contamos com a presença da Janet Lee, que é a diretora do programa internacional. Então, nós vamos iniciar a apresentação com um pequeno tour pela escola, com o estudante. A Janet e a Frances vão fazer a apresentação em inglês. Eu e a Andrea, nós vamos passar os pontos principais durante a apresentação em português. Tá? E a gente vai ter alguns vídeos, um vídeo de depoimento de estudantes brasileiros na escola e também um vídeo de, de, no campus da escola, como é ser um estudante da Mother Day. Nós vamos, é, por último, né? a Andrea vai passar um pouco sobre o processo de inscrição na escola, e nós vamos ter as perguntas e respostas que vocês podem fazer aí no chat é, para a Janet e a um, Francis Clare. So now, thank you, Janet, and thank you, Francis Clare, for as an honor having you both here uh, talking about Mother Day. So if you can briefly um, just introduce yourself to, to the Brazilian uh, people, and then we're going to start with the, the video and after the presentation. 
Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Unfortunately, I cannot speak Portuguese, but I can speak Spanish and French, if that's any help to you. And obviously, uh, I speak English. I am the principal of Modern Day High School, and I have been a Modern Day High School for about 30 years. And I've been the principal for the last uh, 18 years here at Modern Day. And so we are very, very delighted uh, to be invited to present to you in Brazil today. We have had uh, a number of students from Brazil attend Modern Day, some of whom have graduated and obviously have gone on to colleges and universities uh, here in the United States. Others have returned uh, to Brazil and have decided to attend university there. So it's our great privilege uh, to be speaking with you today and I hope that we'll be able to answer any questions that you might have about our school also. So Janet, I turn it over to you, I believe. Yes, hi everyone. Um, I can, I believe it's, is it bon dia or bon noite? Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm Janet Lee. I am the International Student Director at Modern Day High School and I am very excited to be here to talk to you guys about Modern Day. Um, like Principal Claire said, we have had uh, Brazilian students attend Modern Day High School before and they have all expressed that they have had a great time and we hope that we can share the same excitement and the same experience to you guys. Um, so please use this time to ask us questions, get to know us. Um, we are here to um, talk to you about everything Modern Day. So thank you for uh, you all for coming. Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Wang. My Chinese name is Wang Wenyao. Welcome to Modern Day High School. I'm a senior international student here and I'm happy that you're all here today. And I hope you all enjoy this quick tour of our beautiful campus. So here we are at our art wing. Our school provides many art classes such as 3D ceramics to the digital arts like drawings and paintings and photography, digital design, and also art history and more. So as a freshman, I took art, art one and I really loved that class. So why don't you follow me around and check out the classes? So here we are at our, one of our science classroom. Um, most of our class, science classroom will be looking like this. So um, each of our science class will be, have average 28 students. And then um, during the class, students will be sitting here and then doing lectures. For the other parts of the class, um, students will be here to um, do their projects or their laboratory work. So now let's go check out the robot, robotic room. So this is our robotic class. It is a class and also a club. Here we have one of the robots that were built by our students for competition. Um, we also provide many computers for students to do programming. And then here we also have many machines and tools for the students to build their own robots. And here we also have a 3D printer that students can use for their projects. So if you are interested in engineering, come check this class out. Here we are at our school's morning activity studio. Uh, every day our students produce a morning show for the whole school. Um, it is actually part of our school's film art programs. So if you are interested in filming, editing, acting, either in front of the camera or behind the camera, you can join these great programs. So let's go check it out.
Here we are at our school's counseling office. So why don't you come with me and I will show you around. So our school has eight counselors and they will be here every day for you to help with anything you need, like your courses, your teachers, or anything related to your school life. So me as a senior, I came here a lot for my first semester to get help with my college application. As you can see here, we have a classroom so that um, we basically provide a lot of workshops here and our counselors will be here to help you with your college application. Um, our counseling office also provides a lot of computers here so you can do a lot of research or anything related to your school life. So let's keep walking down here. Um, here we have a nice space so that you can just hang out with your friends, you can do your course with your school works, or you can just get tutorings from the other students. And let's keep walking down this way. Here we are, we have an office for Miss Lee. She works with all the international students. And down this hallway, we have all the offices for our counselors. And that's it for our um, counseling office. And I will just show you around the other classes. Welcome to our athletic department. Here we are inside our big gym. So let's keep walking. And on my right hand side, you'll see a, our court for basketball and also for our volleyball. Upstairs, we have our wrestling room. So outside of the gym, you, you'll see our um, strengthening and conditioning room. And then if we keep walking a little bit outside, uh, we have different fields um, for different sports, such as um, football, soccer, baseball, and track and fields. Our school actually provides um, 25 different sports for you to participate. Welcome to our school's library. Um, it is open every day before school, during lunch, and after school. So behind me, we have our computer area. You can use all of the computers to do research, to study, or to print out your stuff. So if you follow me down this way, we have our students' lunch area. So you can just use, you can go to this area to study, to hang out with your friends quietly, or to just be relaxed. And then if you follow me this way at the frowns, here's our school's tech hub. Um, if you have any issue with your iPad, you can come here and get help with. And that's it, our library. So finally, with our school's little theater. It is a classroom and it's also a performance space. So if you are interested in drama, acting, performing, you should really come check this class out. Um, so thank you so much today for joining me with this tour and I hope to see you soon on campus. All right, so I think now Principal Claire, um, Principal Claire and I will be discussing or going through a couple of slides with you to discuss our um, school and what we have to offer. And I'll hand it over to Principal Claire first for the first few slides. Great, <clears throat> thank you, Janet. And uh, thank you for that wonderful video. Uh, Modern Day High School, we are uh, located here in Santa Ana, California on the beautiful West Coast. Uh, of the United States. Uh, we're about one hour's drive uh, south of Los Angeles International Airport. We're located in a big city, a very populous city. It's the largest city in Orange County, and it's known as the seat of Orange County, where the courthouse and the courts exist. We're also very, very close uh, to Newport Beach, which is uh, one of the areas that's very renowned here in, in uh, Southern California. And we're also very close to the University of California in Irvine, uh, about 15 minutes from both of these areas. 
We're also very close to other universities, uh, USC, uh, that's the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. A lot of our students go there. It's a private university. Uh, UCLA, uh, we're quite close to there um, in Los Angeles also, and a number of our students go there. Here in um, Santa Ana and Orange County, which is where we are, uh, we have a very mild climate, uh, warm, dry summers and mild. We wish there were a little bit more wet, the winters. We need a little more rain here in uh, Southern California, but it's a very lovely place to live. We are also very close to uh, Huntington Beach, which is another uh, great beach area, just like Newport. We're close to Disneyland, about 15 minutes away from the original Disneyland. Uh, very close also to Hollywood, where all the movie stars are, where a number of movies are made uh, in the Los Angeles area. Um, Universal Studios is another uh, amusement park that's very about an hour away from here. And of course, if you really want to go shopping in a very luxurious area, you go to Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles. But we even have a shopping center equally as prestigious and equally as elaborate one mile, two miles south of us here, known as South Coast Plaza. And people come to South Coast Plaza for shopping from all over the world. It's a very renowned and upper uh, market uh, shopping center also. We're close to the beach. You can't, you're never farther than 15, 10, 15 minutes from the beach if you're a student at modern day uh, high school. On to the next uh, slide. Uh, Janet, is this for you or for me? For you, please, Principal Clare. Okay. Well, uh, Modern Day is a Catholic uh, co ed high school, boys and girls. Uh, Modern Day is the Latin for Mother of God. So, obviously, when you uh, hear that, you know we're a Catholic school. Uh, we were founded uh, around 1950, and we are the largest Catholic private school on the west of the Mississippi River here in the United States. In other words, we're the largest Catholic high school along the West Coast. And we're very proud of that fact because we uh, continue to maintain a large enrollment, an enrollment of uh, close to uh, 2,200 students each year. Now, our students come from um, many varied places, obviously uh, here in Orange County, all over. Um, my gone, okay. Uh, here, all over Orange County, we have a number of students from Brazil, we have a number of students from China, we have a number of students from Vietnam. We're a very international community, shall we say. Okay. All right, continuing on, we're highly rated uh, in terms of our academics. Uh, if you have access to Niche, I encourage you to go in and check that app and you will see a lot of information about modern day high school and our academic status. We're very, very highly ranked. We offer uh, 47 honors and 24 advanced placement courses. Now our honors courses are courses that move at a, a very rigorous pace and our uh, advanced placement courses move at a rigorous pace also and students uh, take state uh, college board exams at the end of each course and uh, depending upon their success, they can gain college credit for these advanced placement courses. About 63% of our students are enrolled in these honors or advanced placement classes. And over 80% of our student body are usually on the honor roll each year, which means they have above a 3.0 grade point average. And many of them have above a 4.0 grade point average. Our SAT scores are above the national average for the United States. 
Um, you see what they are here in math and in um, uh, writing and uh, English literature. So uh, we're very highly ranked in terms of our academics, uh, not only here in California, but throughout the United States. Um, the universities uh, love to come to modern day and market uh, our students, whether it's to the Ivy League on the East Coast or many other universities. Next slide. We have a 99% um, college acceptance rate. Uh, as I said, our students are marketed by all the great universities from Harvard to Princeton uh, to uh, the Midwest and back over here to the West Coast. We have a number of National Merit Scholars. These are very high achieving students who have scored at the highest level on the annual uh, PSAT test. And if you become a National Merit Scholar, you qualify for different types of scholarships to the very prestigious universities. Um, in the class of 2020, we had 184 seniors who graduated with above a 4.0 GPA. And they have gone on to uh, great universities, Princeton, Harvard, the Naval Academy, uh, UCLA, UCI that we talked about earlier, and a multitude of universities across the United States. Okay, then you see our um, ACT scores here. Again, above the national average in math, English, reading, science, and our composite is a 24.6, which is very, very high out of a, a possible 35, very high. So we're very highly ranked in all of our academics. And then on to our international student program. Janet, I'm sure this is you. This is me. Thank you, Francis. Um, yes, so just as Principal Claire said, we do have a population of students that come from all over the world. Um, we, our international population is 5%. So every year, approximately 100 to 110 students are here at Modern Day. Um, and if you think about it, out of 2,200 students, it's not a big population, um, but we want to keep it that way in order for our international students to really get the feel of an American high school and to experience the true modern day culture here at our school. Um, and just as Principal Claire has mentioned, we have students coming from China, Vietnam, from Brazil, Spain, South Korea, New Zealand, Australia, and so many other countries. Um, and every year we try to incorporate cultural activities um, that our students are a part of so that the student body can experience the different um, holidays, the different celebrations that our international students experience at home. And at, a lot of times I ask our students to help out uh, because who else knows their culture best than our international students. So um, you likely will hear a lot from me um, when we do these uh, activities. So in that picture that you see, it's one of our bigger celebrations on campus. Our, our largest population is our Chinese and Vietnamese international students. And every year we celebrate the Lunar New Year, which is coming up in about a week. Um, unfortunately, this year we're not able to do much, but typically we have celebrations. We uh, teach calligraphy, we um, decorate the school campus, things like that. So um, we enjoy a lot of different cultural activities. Um, we also have several international student run clubs on campus, um, things that go from like a tasty food club where our students will um, teach about each other's cultures and bring snacks on campus, or um, they might be tutoring Chinese for our Chinese international students. They, they help the, the students learning Chinese how to write and read. Um, or they have just um, like an animation club, a, a club that appreciates the Japanese anime. So a lot of clubs that are run by our international students. And just as Principal Claire said, we are heavily um, involved in the students' uh, college and career planning. Our goal is to make sure that students are graduating and going off to the two to four year college of their choice. Um, this is integral to specifically our international program as well. So we have frequent college planning and high school planning workshops throughout the school year, typically during lunchtime or our office hours. 
Our counselors also schedule to meet with students individually throughout the school year. And in order to keep your parents updated, we also have our Zoom parent conferences um, throughout the school year to make sure that your parents' questions are answered, to make sure that they are aware of what type of planning we're doing, and to help um, just include them in the modern day um, ongoings of your student's life. So we are lucky enough to be a testing facility for the SAT and ACT. Unfortunately, not the TOEFL right now. However, we do offer opportunities for practice for the TOEFL, SAT, and ACT. Now this year is a little bit different, but in a typical year, we have workshops and tutoring sessions at our school as well for these three different tests. Um, we encourage our students to test at Modern Day. It's a very comfortable environment. You know where you're going, you know the bathrooms, you know the snack machines. You really just focus on the exam itself. So we always encourage our students to take the SAT or ACT here. Um, in addition to all of these great programs, your everyday homework assignments, those are very important too. Um, if you ever have any questions or if you need extra support, we offer tutoring after school free of charge, and that is available to any student on campus. It is taught by our teachers. Um, and if you need to attend, you can drop in or you can schedule time. Um, we also have office hour incorporated into your regular schedule and office hour is about two to three times a week. It's every other day. Um, and this basically is an extra hour where you are able to go to any teacher um, that you might need to make up assignments with, that you might need to make up exams with, or just get an uh, additional support. So that is another layer of help that our school provides um, that is part of the regular school day. So a few other special programs that we offer at Modern Day to support college uh, and career planning. The first one is College Night. So every year, um, we have about 150 or more colleges from around the U.S. as well as some from outside of the U.S. coming to our school to join our fair. They are, as you can see on the bottom right hand um, picture, they table at our big gym and basically it's a time for our students from any grade level as well as our community around modern day to come talk to college representatives, get to know and make connections with them and to really get their answer, uh, questions answered about the college. Um, another program that we have is our lunchtime college visitors. So the college night is a very big, exciting night. Um, however, you might not have a lot of time to talk to one particular um, college. These lunchtime visits is an opportunity in a smaller, um, low scale environment where we only have about five to 10 colleges that come to our campus to talk to our students. You can spend a little bit more time with the representatives. You can talk to them and have them answer your questions and really get to know them because these college representatives are the people that are going to be reading your applications. So it is always a good time to kind of familiarize yourself, uh, go out there, get your name out there and get to know them. Um, and if you are a junior, we have something very special called Career Day. And every year we have about 40 different speakers or more come on campus to talk about what they do for a job. So real life applicable advice from friends of Modern Day or alumni of Modern Day that have graduated and gone off to do great things. We have people that are actors, we have people that are police or firefighters, we have athletes, we have doctors and lawyers. Um, we have policemen, we have people from all different walks of life that come back onto our modern day campus to talk to our students about what they do. And as you can see, um, these are a few of our stats from uh, the years past. We always, I think a, a good stat to see is the top five. Um, we always have students uh, that our most popular colleges are within the California. Our students like to apply to the California University. So UCLA, very close to modern day. UCI, very close to modern day. And San Diego and Santa Barbara as well. And then um, our Cal States are also very popular. Cal State Fullerton, CSUF. 
that is one of our most popular California state universities um, that our students apply to. And it is only about 30 to 40 minutes away from modern day high school. All right, and I think this is, I believe this is you, Francis. All right, well, I'm happy to be back and talk about our performing arts programs. Uh, we have uh, a number of uh, performing arts programs available to students. And in past years, uh, the performing arts uh, programs have really grown here at Modern Day. So if you are a student or a parent who has an interest in uh, choral music, we have six or seven different types of choirs that are available to the students uh, throughout the day. And these choirs uh, learn uh, a lot about um, music theory, choral music, and they love to perform. They perform at many activities here at school, but they also perform in the community and they also travel. They've traveled in non-COVID times uh, to Europe where they have performed for the Pope uh, in uh, Vatican City and they have performed at different uh, concert halls all over Italy and uh, in Spain also. Uh, uh, I believe on one occasion, they actually also traveled to Portugal. So they travel uh, quite extensively when COVID is not around. We have a great theater program where, uh, where students learn the fundamentals of acting and where they perform also in different types of plays and musicals. And they perform for school, but they also perform out in the community, um, performing in uh, different community theaters uh, around uh, the Orange County area. And then we have a, a great, uh, hold on, I need to go talk about um, the instrumental musical program. Uh, we have a great uh, different types of um, instrumental music uh, programs available to the students. If you like to play brass, we have um, a great uh, brass um, uh, group. We also have um, a great um, strings group here at Modern Day for students who like to play the violin, the viola, the, the bass and so forth. Uh, all of that is available to the students here. And then our dance program. Uh, we, our dance program uh, actually has performed uh, not only here in California, but last year and the year before, they were invited to perform at a very um, famous dance festival down in Mexico. And so they received many awards there for their different performances. So dance is a, a, a very big here at Modern Day um, right now. And we are uh, currently engaged in the building or well, not quite building yet, but we are engaged in uh, a new project here at Modern Day, which is a new performing arts building. It's called the Monarch Masterpiece, and it will include a new theater, uh, different uh, facilities for all of our performing arts groups. And we're very excited about that possibility. Next slide. <laughs> Visual arts. If you like the visual arts, you like to draw and paint and do graphic design, those are the programs we have here at Modern Day. And there's a number of international students who come specifically to Modern Day because of our visual arts programs. So um, if you have an interest, remember Modern Day might be the school for you. Um, I'll take so, over, Prince yeah, Go ahead. All right. So um, beyond just performing and visual arts, uh, we have film and media arts. So this is a little bit of a newer um, department for us. However, it, within these past few years, we have really increased our numbers of a number of students that are interested in going into film and media arts. Um, within this department, we have courses such as yearbook, newspaper production, social media content creation, which is something very applicable to all of our young people out there. Um, film studies, so you're studying movies, you're studying 
um, the production, you're studying how to compose um, and film your uh, subjects. Um, we have sports broadcasting that has actually become quite popular. We have a van on campus that students are in charge of with um, sports broadcasting technology. They follow our sports teams when we could compete um, to different locations and they actually live stream and broadcast our sports games. So that is all run by our students and you get to learn how to do that. Of course, you can't have film without acting. So we also have an acting program, an acting class um, production. So if you like to be behind the, the camera, um, there's a class for you. And also filmmaking, just general information, um, general concepts about how to filmmake. So all of these classes are really exciting. We have our own studio um, towards the back of our school. Um, you can see a lot of our students in these photos utilizing professional um, technology, professional um, cameras, um, and all of our teachers have all been uh, have all been a part of the industry for several years before coming to Modern Day High School. So they have a wealth of knowledge um, about uh, the film and media arts. And robotics and STEM. This is a very popular program at our school. Um, more and more students, boys and girls, are getting into the STEM fields, and it is a growing um, need in the real world. So we want to make sure that our students are able to um, access all of these great um, programs and learn about the great sciences and technologies out there. So um, we have robotics team, we have coding classes, we have computer and engineering classes, app development, computer science. And for those that actually really want to get into the STEM field, we have special programs such as the STEM distinction program. You do have to follow a certain path and a commitment of at least, um, I believe it's two to four years at modern day high school to um, complete all of the steps in order to get this distinction at the end of your high school career. So you do have to follow a path. You have to maintain certain grades and you have to um, be sure you follow all of the prerequisites. In addition to that, we have a biotechnology certificate that is also available to our students to, um, to learn. Basically, this gives you as a high school student a certificate if you complete all of the requisites um, to work in a tech lab. So this prepares you to do a little bit of tech work in the real life um, while you're a high school student. So all of these things are in preparation for the STEM field in the future and it looks great on your college applications. Perfect, thank you, Janet and Francis. I'll do a quick overview here in Portuguese for our audience and before our second video. Bom, pessoal, boa tarde a todos. Aqui é a Andrea, a Natália já me apresentou aí no início. Para quem não me conhece, eu sou representante de vendas da 3W aqui no Brasil, fico baseada na cidade de São Paulo. E eu e a Natália trabalhamos em parceria, dando todo o suporte às agências e aos alunos também. Então, eu vou fazer aí um rápido resumo em português de tudo isso que a Janet e a Frances nos falaram sobre a escola, é bastante informação, uh, mas ela é uma escola realmente muito completa. Né? Então, a Mother Day está localizada ao sul de Los Angeles, em Santa Ana, é, bem pertinho ali de, de Newport Beach, perto de várias outras praias ali por perto. Então, é uma localização privilegiada, uma localização que a gente sabe que o brasileiro gosta bastante, pertinho da praia, com um clima ameno, né, é, perto de diversas atrações que nós temos ali ao redor, inclusive em Los Angeles, né, então a gente está falando aí de Disneyland, Universal Studios, Santa Mônica, elas até mencionaram aí uh, várias opções de lugares para compras, né, que essa parte aí de lazer e entretenimento faz parte, né, do intercâmbio, inclusive um shopping que é o South Coast Plaza, elas comentaram que é um lugar muito bacana para fazer compras também, né, então ela é uma escola que... É, além de ter uma localização privilegiada, ela está perto de várias atrações, né? então é um destino muito bacana para brasileiros. É a maior escola particular da Costa Oeste, né? ela tem aí 2.200 alunos em média, então é uma escola grande, 
por consequência, ela é uma escola que tem uma infraestrutura incrível. A gente viu aí no nosso tour, nosso vídeo de tour, é, a infraestrutura é realmente de muita qualidade, são muitos alunos, por conta disso a gente tem uma variedade gigante de matérias eletivas. Então, para quem quer realmente ter bastante alternativa é, de matérias, de esportes, de atividades extracurriculares e de atrações, né, como a gente comentou, a Mother Day é uma excelente opção. Além, é claro, da gente falar da preparação para a universidade. Né? Então, a Mother Day é muito bem ranqueada, Muitas universidades, inclusive, vão até a Mother Day porque querem os seus alunos. Então, para um aluno que deseja fazer universidade nos Estados Unidos e se preparar de maneira personalizada, realmente entender, se conhecer profissionalmente e traçar um plano de estudos individualizado, a Mother Day faz isso muito bem. Então, além de ter ali toda a parte de mentoria diretamente né, com ali os conselheiros acadêmicos, os alunos também têm a possibilidade de conhecer algumas universidades, as universidades vão até a Mother Day, é, então os alunos têm oportunidade de conversar com uma pessoa que vai, na verdade, olhar o application dele da universidade, então isso é um super diferencial, além da Mother Day fazer Zoom calls com os pais aqui no Brasil, até para contar um pouquinho aí do desempenho e da, dos planos né, acadêmicos do aluno. Então, tudo isso torna aí o, a preparação para a universidade ainda mais individualizada, é realmente um plano de estudos personalizado para cada aluno. Por conta disso, ela tem muitas opções de APs, que são as matérias avançadas, né, as Advanced Placement, e matérias de Honors também. Então, a escola oferece bastante opção nesse sentido. Somente 5% da população da escola é formada por alunos internacionais e eles fazem isso de propósito, né? Como a escola tem 2.200 alunos, 5% é um número baixo e a ideia é realmente que o nosso aluno faça uma imersão na cultura americana, que de fato ele conviva com nativos e conheça de verdade a cultura americana e a cultura da Mother Day. É, e um grande diferencial aí da escola é esse departamento de artes, vocês viram aí a quantidade de matérias né, que, a, que a escola oferece, até quando a gente entra no site da Mother Day, eles têm um site específico só para o departamento de artes, então além da, de toda a infraestrutura incrível em artes que eles têm, eles oferecem muitas opções de matérias, inclusive matérias que estão muito em alta aí, como filmmaking, atuação, toda a parte de mídias sociais, tudo isso vem crescendo bastante, e a escola é uma referência aí na Califórnia em artes, e a localização para quem quer trabalhar com cinema, né, com, com toda essa parte de atuação, é, é privilegiada. E também o programa de robótica, tecnologia, engenharia, também aí são áreas super em alta, vem crescendo bastante com o tempo, a escola oferece matérias específicas e até mesmo um programa específico de STEM. Então, é uma escola, como vocês podem ver, muito completa, com bastante opção de matéria e com uma localização privilegiada, a gente sabe que o brasileiro gosta desse perfil aí de cidade. Tá certo? Se vocês tiverem dúvidas, pessoal, pode ir mandando no chat, eu e a Natália vamos ler ao final, tá? Agora vamos para o segundo vídeo da escola. My name is Luisa Rossi, I'm from Brazil, I'm from São Paulo. So when I saw Matter Day, I, I really liked like the structure, and I I looked it up the classes that they had here, and I, I really liked it. I knew that I, it was very different from my school in Brazil, but I wanted something different. It's really different, so I was confused with the block schedule, and because I have to leave my classroom with time, I got used to it, and I I think I like it better because I can move from one class to another, and it changed the. Like, whole environment so it's, it's nice and I can get to know more people because it's always different people in other classes. Hello my name is Julia Rizendi. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and I spent uh, five months here one semester in Mother Day High School. I love to go to the football games and my favorite class was AP US History. I think for me, it was not that hard to adjust to American culture. It's very different from Brazil, but it's nice. It's very nice when you get to know someone. I've made a lot of friends here and it was really 
I, I like them. I don't know, if you meet someone, you're best friends in the same day. The classes here are uh, interacting, like interact activities with others, and um, the teacher were very supportive. They helped me a lot, and mainly now at the finals, they were very supportive. I do take art class, and I really like it. It's my favorite class, I think, because it's different from Brazil. There, I don't have arts, and I learned I can draw. <laughs> And I take design too, and I like it here in Marley because everything is like on computers or iPads. I chose to attend Marley Day um, because not only for the curriculum that is very good, the activities, the size of the school too that I wanted that could be high school, and the location that is a very good location. Mother Day, it's like a, what they say, like a community, and you have a lot of activities, clubs, classes, so I really recommend them to come. I think it's very different from Brazil, so if people want to study abroad, I'll definitely recommend coming here. The, the technology and my friends play a lot of sports and I know here it's like very good at sports and it's really different from Brazil, like the uniforms and everything, I think they would really like it. I'm Luisa Rossi, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I really like it here. <laughs>
And this slide, you can just see a few of our um, facilities. Um, we have some of our faculty and staff enjoying golf um, in one of our events. Um, the top right, we have our uh, weight training room, um, the small uh, square on the bottom left and the bottom right is our big gym where we have our rallies and events. And of course, in the middle, we have our world famous uh, football, American football coach, Bruce Rollinson coaching our um, football team. As well as athletics, campus life is very important. We want you to be social. We want you to make friends and join different social clubs so you can enjoy your time at Modern Day. We have over 400 different clubs at Modern Day. They're all led by students. Um, they are comprised of all of our students and they are actually a part of our associated student body. So they are part of our leadership team. Um, we want to train our students to become leaders of America and clubs is a great way to do that. You get to learn how to lead, you get to learn how to organize, you get to learn how to work with adults and different team members on campus, um, structure, organization, everything like that. So uh, we encourage you to not only just be social, but it is a benefit for uh, your future skills as well. You can see at the bottom, we have social clubs, we have humanitarian and awareness clubs. Um, we have educational clubs such as our mock trial. We have our um, uh, speech and debate, things that are a little bit more academic if that's your preference. We have sports clubs like we mentioned before and honors clubs such as the CSF, California Scholastic Federation, as well as the National Honor um, scholarship. Uh, these are all of our uh, higher performing students who are very academically inclined that are able to get into these honor clubs, as well as academic teams, um, academic decathlon, students that like to compete um, with the knowledge that they uh, have for different uh, um, academic uh, subjects. So a lot of different social clubs, um, all of these you learn how to um, make new friends and enjoy your time at Modern Day High School. And I believe this is you, Principal Claire. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, our campus ministry program is part of our faith formation program here at Modern Day. As you know, we are a Catholic school. So um, we say that campus ministry, which is a, a program here, is the heart of Modern Day. What it does. It supports the spiritual and moral and character development of the entire school community. And so uh, we do that through campus ministry uh, in our retreat program, number one. All students have the opportunity of, take, of being part of different types of retreats uh, that are offered either here on campus or at some local parishes or retreat houses. And secondly, service is very, very important to us at Modern Day. Service to others, reaching out to those who are not as fortunate in our community as the students who attend Modern Day are. Uh, and so the students uh, go out and uh, they work in different locations, uh, feeding the homeless, uh, providing uh, different opportunities for the poor. It's a very big part of our mission here at Modern Day. Then every student who attends Modern Day is enrolled in our religious studies program. And that means that all students, and you don't have to be Catholic to do this, but all students, Catholic or from other different faiths, take a religion class each semester that they are enrolled here at Modern Day. And I will tell you that some of our international students are the best students in those classes because they have the most interest in the culture of religion that is experienced here in modern day and in the United States. It's all part of our Catholic formation program. And then um, when we are not in COVID times, we have an all school mass at least once a month. And the entire student population of 2,200 students attends uh, that mass. They also plan the liturgy, 
they prepare the readings, uh, the choirs are involved in singing, and it's a really, really festive occasion for the students when they can attend an all school mass. Service is uh, integrated into outreach. Outreach and service are pretty much the same. Now we have, as part of our service and outreach, we have traveled to different countries over the years. Uh, a few years back, we traveled uh, to Costa Rica and we did a lot of service there. And then on other occasions, we have traveled also to Mexico, which as you know, is uh, pretty close uh, to California. And we have worked in collaboration there with different organizations, providing clothing, providing different resources for those who might need them. So service is big at modern day. It's a way of life. Uh, campus security. Um, obviously the number one priority for us at modern day is the health and safety of our students. And so for that reason, when we're not in COVID times, uh, modern day is a closed campus. And that means that once students come onto the campus in the morning, they may not leave uh, and go to the local um, restaurants for lunch. They eat on campus in our uh, great uh, food service area. And we have a company that provides uh, food service here um, on campus, the world known as Sodexo company. Um, then any visitors who come to campus, including parents, uh, must sign in with our campus security prior to em entering campus, and they must present a valid form of identification. Now, if you're a California or a US uh, person, that's your driver's license. If you come from overseas, you need to have your passport with you uh, and you're checked as you enter the modern day campus. And all of this is um, health and security of students. We have security on our campus 24-7. Uh, that means uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our campus is safe and we go the extra mile in providing for that safety and security. The local police force, they are very favorable towards our school. They come and work out on our campus. They swim in our swimming pool. Uh, they exercise in our weight room uh, and they come and play uh, soccer, football on our fields. So we have a great um, relationship with uh, our city officials and with the police force here in Orange County. Janet, I think you take this one. So this photo, I, you don't have to pay too much attention about this photo. It's a, there's a lot going on, but basically it, it uh, includes information about certain touch points in our, in our campus facilities that have security uh, installations. These are just a few out of many um, that is installed throughout the campus. So just a quick visual for you guys. Yeah, we have uh, over 60 cameras all over our campus also. Uh, and they're there for security, but they're also there, you know, for student uh, discipline and so forth. Um, so um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, uh, outstanding security on campus. And this is our masterpiece, the Monarch Masterpiece. This is the Future Performing Arts Center where all of the performing arts that we spoke about, uh, from choir to theater, to uh, instrumental music, to dance, will have a new home. And so we're currently raising money for this and we're currently um, looking at uh, different types of programs, uh, which will provide funding for this wonderful new Monarch masterpiece. We're super excited about it. There you have the um, auditorium. It's gonna ha um, uh, have 800 uh, seats um, in it uh, with special types of lighting and special types of sound. Uh, all the latest technology will be part of this new theater and this new performing arts center. You see the band room, you see the theater, black box, you see the choir room and you see the dance studio. Um, 
This is also, this is all in the planning stages and very people, exciting. People are saying wow here for us in the chat, so. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Principal Claire, and thank you, Janet Lee. I'm going to do a quick summary in Portuguese for all the information. Então, como você está vendo aí os comentários, né? É uma escola realmente uau. Né? É uma escola muito famosa aqui nos Estados Unidos. Tá? Eles são muito reconhecidos pelos esportes, como ela falou. Muitos dos estudantes vão porque são atletas. Eles têm mais de 25 times. Ganharam mais de 120 campeonatos da Califórnia nos Estados Unidos. Hoje em dia, eles têm um time número um de futebol americano. Tá? Os jogos da Mother Day aparecem na ESPN, só para vocês terem uma ideia né, da, do grau da escola. Eles têm um site separado também, quando vocês querem entrar na parte atlética. Eles têm também ajuda com a nutrição dos atletas, né, com o preparatório emocional. Então, é uma escola muito é, boa, muito indicada para atleta. Tá? Eles também têm vários clubes, como ela falou, né, mais de 28 desde equitação, surf, o último clube da Mother Day, que é o eSports, né? então é, eles competem em videogame também, então quando vocês tiverem um estudante né, que, que tenha esse essa interesse em esporte, a Mother Day sempre é uma boa indicação, mas um dos outros grandes diferenciais da escola é que todos os alunos podem jogar, tá? nos esportes como basquete, futebol, eles têm as dois, três times, então, eles têm o time, como ela falou, né? O JV e o Varsity que competem. Então, né? mesmo, às vezes, se você não é um atleta, você pode jogar, praticar. Não necessariamente você vai fazer parte do time que compete pelo estado ou pelo país. Mas todo estudante pode participar. E a gente sempre aconselha a, ele, né? a se inscrever num dos clubes, um dos esportes da escola. É, elas, eles falaram, então, também sobre o campus né, da escola, é, muito, a gente sempre fala né, para os estudantes, eu e a Andrea, o estudante que tem mais sucesso é o que mais se envolve, que mais participa da escola, das atividades. Então, eles têm vários clubes, que o clube é mais uma oportunidade, quando a gente fala aqui, é muito forte na cultura americana, do empreendedorismo do estudante, do estudante organizar, tem clubes fundados, mas ele pode fundar o seu próprio clube, de ele se organizar, e os clubes variam, né? desde a parte de esporte, desde é, clubes acadêmicos, clubes de liderança, para quem quer competir. Então, mais uma oportunidade dos estudantes se envolverem nas escolas e se integrarem. Né? A Maradê é uma escola católica, então todos os estudantes vão ter aula de religião. Né? Eles têm aulas, umas aulas, ele pode escolher qual aula de religião, tem aulas de religiões mais globais, é, mais, que eles aprendem sobre todas as religiões. O que o estudante tem que participar é a missa uma vez por mês na escola. Tá? Dentro da escola eles têm uma capela. Para o estudante que tem interesse, ele pode se envolver mais. Mas o que é obrigatório são as aulas de religião e a missa uma vez por mês. Trabalho comunitário, trabalho voluntário faz muito parte das escolas americanas e é muito forte na Mother Day. Então, o estudante ele tem que fazer 80 horas por ano né? ele, do, do, do serviço de é, trabalho voluntário. E a escola tem vários, também oferece, desde dentro dos Estados Unidos, ou até eles viajam para fora, para quem tem interesse em fazer parte da escola. É, segurança né? sempre é uma, um, um fator importante. Então, a, a Mother Day, sendo uma escola particular, é um campus fechado. Né? Então, você, todos, todo mundo que entra na escola é quem deve estar na escola, né? Os professores, os alunos, eles têm horário, têm um crachá para entrar. Toda vez que a gente vai visitar, realmente tem que passar pela segurança. Mas é uma escola grande, tem bastante alunos. Isso é sempre para a segurança do, dos alunos. Eles têm mais de 60 câmeras pela escola, tanto para a segurança como para a disciplina dos alunos. Ela comentou também que eles têm um ótimo relacionamento com a polícia local, que os policiais, na verdade, treinam na, na escola, nadam na escola. Então, um ambiente extremamente seguro né? é, que a, a Mother Day, a escola... É. Aí ela também comentou um pouquinho sobre esse novo projeto da escola de artes, é, que eles vão ter, um novo campus, da, um novo departamento da, da Mother Day. Agora a gente vai assistir um pouquinho um vídeo sobre a, 
sobre a vida na Mother Day, para vocês verem que é uau mesmo, o nível de, da escola, das atividades, as opções, é realmente incrível. Not working. It's from YouTube. Oh, okay. just maybe it's just my that. internet. I don't know. Lady, when Uh, Andrea, você quer falar um, um pouquinho do processo de inscrição e a gente vai voltar para o vídeo. We are Janet uh, and Chris Beauclair. We are trying to play a video, but it got a little frozen. Andrea is going to talk really briefly about the uh, application process, and then we're going to try to um, play the video, and then we go for the questions. Sounds good. Ótimo. Então, eu vou falar rapidamente, pessoal, sobre o processo operacional. Natália, se você puder já deixar o vídeo aí, de repente, aberto, e aí a gente só segue com ele depois. Então, uh, só para ficar claro como é que funciona, né? O aluno quer se matricular na Mother Day, como que a gente faz esse processo, né? Então, o, o processo de matrícula da 3W, ele é feito em duas etapas. A primeira etapa é um processo de aceitação. Então, a gente precisa de alguns documentos que são obrigatórios para que a escola possa avaliar o perfil desse aluno e aceitá-lo na escola. Então, inicialmente, aí nós temos um pré-application, que nós chamamos, né? Esse pré-application envolve dados pessoais do aluno, até mesmo questão de saúde. Não precisamos de assinatura de médico aqui, mas a gente precisa conhecer esse aluno, até mesmo aí o histórico de saúde dele. A gente precisa de uma carta em inglês desse aluno nos contando qual que é o objetivo dele, por que, que ele quer estudar na Mother Day, é o que ele pensa para o futuro. Uh, e do, dois questionários aí de recomendação, um do professor de inglês e outro do professor de matemática aqui do Brasil. Uh, precisamos do histórico escolar dos últimos quatro anos, a gente precisa do histórico escolar original e também com uma tradução simples, nós temos um modelo de tradução que podemos compartilhar com vocês. Precisamos de um teste de inglês, se o aluno já tiver um Cambridge, um TOEFL, a gente pode utilizar, caso ele não tenha, ele pode fazer o ELTS na agência mesmo. E, por fim, fazemos aí uma entrevista por Skype. A Mother Day pode pedir uma ou duas entrevistas de acordo com o perfil do aluno. Feito isso aí, toda essa primeira etapa, a gente recebe a resposta da escola. O aluno foi aceito. E, a partir daí, a gente dá continuidade ao processo. Então, a gente envia para vocês a carta de aceitação, o application da Mother Day, o restante do application, aí envolve uma parte mais burocrática, toda a parte de médica, com assinatura de médico, teste de tuberculose, carteirinha de vacinação, então toda é aquela parte mais burocrática, e sempre fazemos um call operacional com vocês, com a família, para sanar todas as dúvidas do application, tá? Então a gente pode sempre fazer esse call para passar ali o passo a passo do application com vocês. Ok? Ah, o pessoal aqui está falando que o processo de aplicação da 3W é muito simples e sempre rápido, recomendamos sempre. Obrigada, é isso aí. A gente faz realmente o processo da maneira mais simples possível, né? Porque é, realmente a documentação é extensa, faz parte aí do, do high school, mas a gente tenta facilitar sempre. Estamos sempre à disposição para ajudá-los. Natalia, I think the sound is off on the video. Pictures are great. Now we can now. Yes, we can now. Thank you, Janet. No problem.
Now we'll go to the uh, questions. So if anybody have a question, se alguém tiver alguma pergunta agora para a diretora da escola ou para a coordenadora internacional, um, vocês podem fazer pelo chat. I'm gonna ask also oh, yeah. Janelle and Principal Claire to talk a little bit. I know we are still in COVID-19 to talk a little bit about Marta Day protocols, how the school has been, um, you know, the students in campus and, and just give them the Brazilian um, uh, agents, families, a little bit of overview, please. Yes, um, we are in COVID times here at Marta Day High School, and we have been in COVID times since March 13th of last year, which is when it all started. And when it started in March last year, we were very fortunate that we have a great technology here in the school. And so we were able immediately uh, to go online, have our students stay home, have our teachers uh, work from home or work from the campus, whichever they preferred, and uh, continue the educating of our students from March uh, through June of last year. <clears throat> Then for, uh, for our graduation last year, uh, we invited all of our uh, students and their families to drive their cars to modern day. And we had a drive-in graduation. We had six different events, graduation ceremonies. And for each ceremony, uh, 75 students were allowed and their families uh, drive in their cars and they received their diplomas. And it was very, very successful and very well received. Then throughout the summer of last year, we had um, two different uh, task forces that we put together. One was to develop health and safety uh, in COVID times for this school year. And the other task force that was put together in the summer was to um, take a look at our curriculum take a look at our technology so that our uh, teachers and students would have the best opportunities as we moved into this school year during COVID times. And so um, uh, the number one priority emerged as health and safety of the students. And so we have a director of health services here at Modern Day and under her direction, we put together um, our return to school protocol, which includes um, every safety precaution that we can possibly take during COVID times. We reduced our classes to 
uh, uh, between 10 and, and uh, 12 students in every classroom. Um, obviously, around the campus, we brought on different uh, tents so that the students would have the opportunity to be spaced all over campus and at the same time uh, be well protected from the sun and the rain when it comes. Um, and so uh, we signed our campus uh, so that it's well signed and the students uh, know where they can sit and where they can't sit and where they can be and where they can't be. And so three very important um, items. All students wear masks at all times. All faculty and staff wear masks at all times, unless you're on your own in your office. Um, there's nobody with me and Janet's on her own in her office, so we can remove our masks. Students wear, and faculty wear masks at all times. Students and faculty maintain a six feet separation at all times. And throughout the campus, we have different uh, sanitation stations for hand washing and so forth. Now, Janet, can you speak to the daily schedule for the students? Because I think you're a little more familiar with that than I sometimes am. Sure can. So what we've done is we've divided our regular school day into two sessions. So we have our AM session and we have our PM session. AM sessions are about from 8 a.m. until 11.30, and then our PM sessions begin at about 12.30 to three o'clock. So we have basically, at one time on campus, we'll have about 50% of our students. Um, so during the first session, we'll have about 1,000 or so students, and then our second session, we'll have about 1,000 or so students. And then within each class, like Principal Claire said, we have about 10 to 12 students per class. In addition to that, we have students who are online, either studying remotely or overseas that actually log in onto our um, Kaltura system. That's the new platform that we're using to teach online. Um, they can live stream in to view the classroom lesson or if their time difference doesn't work out, they get to review the recorded lesson with our teachers. Um, and then for those that are viewing the recorded lessons, they have extra time at a different time during the week where they can meet directly with the teachers via Zoom or Kaltura or Skype or whatever is most convenient. So um, that's kind of how our, our school, school day works. We meet Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is what we call a flex day. It's uh, reserved for our elective courses where students are able to come on campus or zoom in or go on Kaltura to meet with their elective teachers. Um, those are our fun classes, um, art or music or what uh, athletics. Um, and then Thursday and Friday we resume our regular schedule. It is still block schedule. So Monday you have like your odd blocks, Tuesday you have your even, Thursday you have your odd, Friday you have your even and then it repeats itself. So very spaced out, um, very, it's very comfortable actually. When you walk outside, it feels very comfortable. All the students are doing really well with wearing their masks um, and hand sanitation. So the kids are doing really well and we've been really, really lucky to have implemented this at the very start so that kids can return to school. And I would also add that we have a dashboard. And if you go into our website, it explains uh, uh, the numbers uh, of COVID cases here in Orange County, and then uh, the number of cases that we may have had at Modern Day High School also. That information is public because we are as transparent as we can possibly be with our parent community about health and safety and about all things COVID. You're muted. I'm just going to say thank you, Ms. Claire. Thank you, Janet. Lee. Uh, Janet, we have one more question might be for you. They are asking about the accommodation, uh, about the, how the school works with. Um... Sure. So modern day high school is a day school. So we do not have any dormitories or any um, on-campus facilities for students to stay in. And so for our students who are coming from 3W, we work with a company, it's a sister company called Twin Palms. They are in charge of the homestay component. 
Um, they go through, so students will apply, they'll fill out a very extensive application, all of their likes, their dislikes on this Twin Palms homestay application. And the hosts also um, will be providing with a, a similar type of application. And Twin Palms will try to match to the best of their ability, a uh, homestay to a student. So um, they, the students go through this process to be uh, able to, to stay with a approved homestay. Now, all of these homestays have been approved. They have been thoroughly background checked and the company has been approved and thoroughly background checked by modern day high school. Now, if a student wants to come with family, we are more than happy to, to have that. Um, that's actually preferred, but we know that not every family can do that. But if a student wants to stay with mom or dad, um, they can definitely do that and they do not have to go through any kind of um, homestay company. So mom and dad, A-okay. If not with mom and dad, um, they would have to go through the approved channels through homestay. If you have a relative here, just have the relative contact Twin Palms uh, homestay company and, and just to get them vetted and to get the background check. I know their family, but as a, a school, we have to make sure that um, everything is legitimate and everyone is safe um, in the home that they're staying at. Okay, one more question. I think for Janet Lee, uh, about orientation, if the school has an uh, uh, international student orientation. Yes, so we know that students may not be able to attend the uh, all school orientation that we have about a week before school starts. Um, it is a little bit earlier. Sometimes students might not be able to make it in time in particularly these days where travel might be a little bit difficult. Um, in a regular year, uh, beyond just the all school orientation, we have our own individual international student orientation. Typically, I would say a few days before the school starts. This way that students can get here a little bit later, still get the introduction that they need and get all of their materials. Their homestay parents know where to go already to get their uniforms and all of the things that they need. Um, and then they start school pretty much the week after, the weekend after the orientation. Now in the future where we don't really know what's gonna happen with travel, um, what we are going to do is um, you will meet here in the counseling office and pretty much it's almost like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Um, we will get you set up or a small group type of thing, depending on when um, a small group of kids might be able to come on campus. But we are going to take care of you. We'll make sure that you are able to um, get all set up for your time at Modern Day. If it's a semester um, transfer, we will also have orientations for that as well. You don't have to worry about coming and not knowing what to do. Thank you. One more question. What is the expectation for 2021 to 2022 school year? Well, Can you expand on what that means? Like, I, what? I think you refer to COVID or if it's going to be the same protocols or, or you know, yeah, uh, every, everything depends on COVID. The numbers are uh, decreasing here in California a little bit. So let's say um, our governor says uh, we can go back to normal times, then we as a school will return to our normal schedule. But if we're still in COVID times, uh, we uh, will continue with the schedule that we have now, most likely. So that means that students are welcome to come on campus, but at the same time, we do have a remote learning uh, program. Now, right now we have about 130 kids, students who are in that remote learning program. Uh, we would prefer for students to be on campus because then they have the complete modern day experience. Uh, but unfortunately the world situation with COVID uh, sometimes doesn't allow that. Janet, did you want to add anything? Um, I think you covered everything. I, I do just want to emphasize, we do have the option of the online um, modern day experience, if that is something that you are interested in. Um, we are going to offer it next year. You could sign up for one semester and hopefully second semester, you might be able to come back on campus and that's totally fine as well. It'll be a seamless transition. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, we have options for a, for everyone and what they might want. 
I think that's all the questions. We passed a little bit of the time, but it's so much information to share. Anything else, Ms. Claire? Yes, I want to say one thing about the students who come to us from Brazil. Uh, the students who have come to Modern Day from Brazil are very well prepared for the rigors of the Modern Day High School curriculum, and their English is exceptionally good. Uh, they never ever have any problems with English. They, they're able to fit right in uh, to the regular English classes here at Modern Day, and they're able to be successful. And some of a, a challenge for international students, but not so much for the Brazilian uh, students, uh, is the uh, history, American history and world history that we have here. But I will tell you that the Brazilian students are exceptional in being able to be successful um, in all of our courses here at Modern Day. And I wanted to say that because sometimes people wonder about the level of English and so forth. But students coming from Brazil, number one, uh, when it comes to English preparation. Thank you, Ms. Claire. And I want to thank all of those who are uh, here uh, this afternoon. Thank you for your interest in Modern Day. And I sincerely hope that you will be able to come to Modern Day, uh, come on our campus uh, and enjoy this wonderful high school experience. It really is special. We say, um, we have a couple of sayings of Modern Day. This is your home, away from home. That's number one. Number two is once a monarch, always a monarch because the, um, the, the um, mascot is uh, monarch the lion, and number three, wear red, the proud color of the monarchs. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I want to reiterate, we are so thankful to be here. We are so thankful to have the technology to be able to talk with you all. Um, it is a privilege to be able to share our experiences and our information about Modern Day High School to potential monarchs. Um, if you have any additional questions or if you have concerns, contact Natalia or Andrea. Um, they will get in contact with us and we are happy to answer any further questions that you have. Obrigada a todos pela presença, né? Então, se alguém tiver mais alguma dúvida, pode passar para mim e para a Andrea. Esse evento foi gravado, então a gente vai estar dividindo com vocês é, depois a gravação. E muito obrigada pela presença. Thank you, Miss Claire. Thank you, Janet Lee. This event is recorded and we're going to share it with you all later. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thank you, Thank you Janet. Thank you, Principal Bye. Claire. Obrigada, pessoal. Boa noite para todos. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you.